Everybody ready? Good. Then let's get going. Hey everyone, a really warm welcome back. Well, yesterday I was in fixing mode and there'll be a few videos coming out about various bits and pieces I've done around the caravan, getting us ready for the new season. And while I was doing that, I grabbed some footage of fixing this thing, not fixing this thing, of actually getting the, the cover off of this and giving it a really good clean yesterday as part of our pre-season preparations. And then the footage unfortunately got a bit corrupted. So that's just a little explainer for why you'll see me in uh, different sets of clothes today with a clean vent ceiling and some really really monkey disgusting stuff and horrible old building clothes from yesterday anyway this video is specifically aimed at uh, owners of Ariba caravans or perhaps Heimer car camper vans or Heimer motorhomes or even uh, Burstner brands motorhomes or uh, Sun Living Motorhomes or Corrados or Lycas or LMCs or uh, Deathless, any of the things that are built by the Irwin Heimer Group, I believe all use this sort of thing. And one of the questions that comes up frequently as part of the Ariba Forum, uh, certainly discussions, is how on earth do you get this thing off? Because when you're a new owner of one of these things, you look at it and it's incredibly close to the ceiling. And this is a mushroom vent, so up on the, the roof outside, there are a couple of clips on the outside, so you think, am I supposed to clean it from there? But a plastic in the outside world, you know, tends to get a little bit UV degraded. And so I was certainly very nervous about removing the top off of there because I didn't want to crack it, obviously, because that would then mean we weren't weather tight. Um, so thanks to some excellent advice from the Ariba Forum and uh, my fellow Ariba feeling owner who gave that advice and was brave enough to give this a go first, thanks to you, you know who you are. Today I'm going to show you how to do it so that if you've got one of these and it needs a, a really good clean, you know what you're doing. So let's get into the video. Before we go inside though, let's have a quick look on the roof and we'll be able to see the top of the vent and, and I've reminded myself of that blinking biblical hail we were in last year god anyway you can see the top of the vent up here excuse the disgusting roof uh, i haven't done the cleaning of the outside yet anyway you can just see the the couple of tabs on the side that's facing us that i guess you could press in and then lift the whole top off but uh plastic outside you know i'm really rather reluctant to uh, lift that off so let's go and have a look inside so this thing does look incredibly close to the ceiling which might make you think that it's stuck on but in fact, we can lever this cap down very carefully and we'll do that now. Let's get you guys repositioned a little bit closer so you can see better what's going on. All right, let's lift my basket out of the way. Okay, now you, we're all, this is on top of the back bed, so I'm going to try not to wiggle too much, otherwise you guys might get seasick. So, the theory is, use a butter knife, although I found this thing, which is actually one of the kids' art knives, so it's like a oil colour palette knife I guess which I think is better because it's got this sort of offset angle so a very thin blade to slip in and the corners have a sort of friction fit catches on them so we just want to slowly did you hear that clink that was one giving way wind our way down and around very carefully just tilting here from side to side so just applying a bit of downward pressure and we want there we go want to go corner by corner by corner so we're keeping the whole thing straight and then we can soon get fingers in underneath and then just gently 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 pop 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 and there we are box out so there we go 
one filter, one filter, one cap. Not too bad from yesterday. Yesterday it was absolutely minging in here. It was completely <laughs> disgusting. You know, when I used to clean this uh, for the past few years, I've just been sticking the, the vacuum up and using a kid's paintbrush and so on to clean all the leaves because to be fair, I didn't want to break this. I thought it was stuck on the ceiling, but it's not. So big thanks to the folks on the Ariba Forum site. Anyway, that's what the thing looks like. That's just a, the clip-in bit and there's the permanently installed in the ceiling bit. So you can see that those lugs just clip in each corner over this ridge. It just goes dunk, 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 and holds it in place. And there's the outside piece. That's the, the lid through to the outside world. Okay, then in terms of putting it back in, you know, you've got it all clean. Kids paintbrush helps or um, some sort of very fine little brush to get right inside all those little bits and pieces because the spiders really get in there and leave all sorts of mess on the top. Let's just pop it back in, slowly press it into place. Sometimes it needs a little bash, but just go corner by corner by corner by corner. You're back up flat on the ceiling. There we go. All right, so that's job done. Hope that was really helpful. Um, do the normal stuff, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, all the rest of it if it was helpful. And uh, fellow Ariba owners, if there's anything else you want me to cover in these videos or, or have a go at, just drop a comment in the comments below and I'll try and make a video to help out with some of the common problems we all face. Anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, great to have your company here. And from me, bye for now. See ya. touched all winter. In fact it's probably over a year since that's been cleaned out. Look at the state of that in there. There's a spider web up there. Just disgusting. Right, let's see if we can get this sorted. So I didn't put a dust sheet down on the bed because they're all disgusting but they use this blanket which needs to go in a wash and good job I did because of course seeds and things fell out. It's a bit overkill probably but makes life easier. Let me look at the disgusting state of this thing. Ugh. There's a lovely, lovely, lovely collection of spider webs down. So let's get that cleaned out.